I'm on my way to the Lake of the Ozarks to meet Dennis and his two sons, Cole and Hunter. And Cole and Hunter have never snagged a spoonbill. So we're going to meet Anthony down there and he's going to take us out and hopefully the two boys will get an opportunity to snag their first spoonbill. So come along with us and let's see how the guys do. We were a little bit early when we got down to the launch ramp, but in just a few minutes, we could see Anthony coming down the lake to get us. <laughs> oh boy, he's got dogs. <laughs> It didn't take long to start marking some fish. Well, it just rained and rained and rained down here. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm with the. Uh, my nephew Anthony and my nephew Dennis and my great nephew Hunter and Cole and we're getting ready to set our lines out and do some snagging for Spoonbill. How many are you going to put out in? Uh, I think I'll just start with two here. Okay. In just a short time we got a strike and everybody turned and grabbed a rod because you have to reel in the rods that don't have fish on them and I happened to grab the rod that had the fish on it and I wasn't even planning to catch a fish Oh, you got his fish. We got them all tangled up in his fish Oh, wow Ooh. Let's hear it, guys. Oh, wow. The guys wanted me to hold up the fish so they could take a picture. <laughs> 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 Just a few minutes before Hunter got a hold of his first spoonbill. Anthony, take this. I'm gonna get my camera out. He's coming across. Yeah, he's got it all. Yeah, yeah. He got us all. Yeah. Oh, it's not massive, but oh. we'll want to get it on the other side if you can. And even there is big one. Off the very just cut around the other side. Get on the other side. Look at that. Can 
Dad, you got it. Keep reeling. softer than what I thought. <laughs> Top blue's bigger than that. That's good to see it straight up. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Willie. He was wanting to handle that. Get hold it up. You want to hold it up? <laughs> no. What's well, made? They may have changed a little bit since that new company took over. Yeah. They're just pressed out. They lay them deals in the tape measure. Mark them well. That's why the boats are anywhere between an inch and three quarter and two and a half inches out of square. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay. You want to put it in that rod holder before you stop or you can't get it in there. Where are you stopping there at? 100? 140. Move that rod out of that holder. You got a pump and Keep it tight all the time. <laughs> Take this hoodie off. Time. Look at Baxter, you think he don't know what's going on? No bigger. Up, I want to get a good picture of it. Oh. <laughs> Come here, Uncle Joe, you grab a hold of it. Put that, get that black, uh, <laughs> get that, get that coat and lift him up. Anthony, my boys are soft. What are going to do about it? Let me try and hold him up. <laughs> they can't spend a day putting 20 of them in there. There we go. Four times they get. <laughs> there you go. All right, someone take it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll have it. When we crappie fish, I put my crappie in that deal right there. Uh -huh. She'll get them crappie out and put them back in the water. <laughs> Dog wheel. <laughs> <laughs> that <can> kill it. <laughs> yeah, she likes that. 
Hey, Trixie, look at me. Look at me. You're next. Or not Megan. Unless we're going cat fishing. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> look at Baxter. He just bored with the whole fair. <laughs> when he's he won't even try one no. you know <laughs> Lots of time, bud. Put your rod down here in your head. Put it down lower. Blow your belt. Get it about right in the joint there. Tina said our boys ain't very big. Don't let them fall in. You <laughs> <laughs> sent her a picture of that one. Skinny boy. Yeah, raise her up there. Good job, Cole. Keep her going. <laughs> Easy now. that way a little bit what do they do roll when they get back yeah you can about catch them without hooks them they just drag them around and those and things that hit them however you just twist it up Well, you're only allowed two spoonbill, and both boys limited out, so we're heading in. Well, this was a short trip, but it was a fun trip. Both boys got to experience something that not very many young boys get to experience, something they've always wanted to do. And a special thanks to Anthony for taking time out of his busy schedule to take the boys out. I hope you enjoyed this trip also, and we'll see you next time around.